Episode one is The Fiery Cross, our premiere for season five. This one was a challenging one to write. The opening of the book, Fiery Cross, a lot happens over the course of a day. But I think we did a pretty good job. <laughs> I'll pat myself on the back a little yeah. bit in the sense that I thought it was, uh, we got it all in there. Yeah, well, I think that the difficulty, as Matt said, was the gathering took up a lot of space in the book. Per our normal kind of TV Outlander style, we wanted to change it up and move the gathering to Fraser's Ridge and, and show up the big house, which is truly big. It's a big house. <laughs> Uh, one of the things I remember saying to Gary when we went to the location and plotted out the land, and I said, now, it's just called the big house, Gary. That doesn't mean it has to be a big house. And then he let that go in one ear and right out the other, and it became a big house. But it's so magnificent. I mean, it, it is a beautiful it's house. Beautiful. And, and the land we found is so gorgeous, and, yeah. and some of the tracking shots we used and see it established is pretty amazing. One of the things that is really special about Outlander is that we can show people in character moments being a family and being a community, and we wanted to actually show that. It's just not always bad times. You know, you have to show some of the good times to balance out the drama. So we wanted to have a big wedding and Roger and Bree getting married, and we wanted to have the whole family there. It was the way of making the gathering more about the wedding than the gathering. The idea of seeing Jamie back in his kilt is something we've talked about a lot since last season, season four. When does Jamie put his kilt back on? And it, it kind of became a thing that it had to be a momentous moment. We didn't do it originally like it was in the book at River Run, but we were trying to find the perfect time for him to put on his kilt. We wanted to make it a moment. I think that was the, the key. And, and you want to build the anticipation of it's his daughter's wedding. Why isn't he wearing his kilt? And it's that moment he makes that decision if Tryon wants a Scott. I'll give him a Scott. And what's more Scottish than putting on his plaid and his kilt, walking out and showing the red coats there, but also all the other families. And as he says in his speech, we're not clan, we're not family, but. If the time comes, you will all stand by my side. He deliberately put this on in a moment that made him the lair visually. And Jamie's a pretty smart guy and is a smart move to make himself look like a laird. Stand by my hand brought the guys right in so well also i feel like in season four there was this idea of trying to assimilate into this new yeah. country and you never leave your scottishness behind but still trying to kind of start a life anew um and this seemed like a fitting way i do think the actors missed it i think um certainly sam was very excited to put it back on oh uh, yeah we you know i had to tear it off of you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. not he not wears it really. to bed yeah, of course yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked a lot about opening the season and where Jamie and Roger would be in terms of their relationship and where we left them. You know, Jamie's still very upset with Roger about how he came back to Brianna because obviously he chose to come back, but he didn't do it immediately. And that is the problem. And as a dad, you want whoever your daughter's going to be with to stand up. And Jamie feels like Roger didn't stand up in the right way, that he did yeah. not immediately come back and say, I, I don't care if the child couldn't be mine, I, I don't care, I love her. But you did come back, and that's all that matters. Just tell him that. I think the funny thing in the underlying current is they both kind of like each other. Captain Roger McKenzie. Captain. But this thing got in the way, and sometimes, you know, in families, things get in the way, and you, you don't you don't just move them out of the way and be friends again. You let it fester and grow, and, and um, but that makes good drama sometimes. It does. Yeah.